Hello, this is Right Sporkies, and today I'm playing some Magic the Gathering, and this is a game I had the other day, and I'm going to try and talk quite fast because it's very short. Uh, this is an under three minute win with Apex Predators, and I think this is just really the, the best draw you can get with Apex Predators. I was so great. I mean, I got rid of my first hand because I only had one mana, although I like the rest of the cards. I really feel that with Apex Predators you need a lot of mana to try and get those big creatures. Um, and yes, yeah, so I went for a second one, and this is nice. And I'm going to lay Garrett's Companion here for two. And I just drew Dungrove Elder, which is really nice. I can play that next turn. Um, in case you're wondering um, why I have the Cub in here, this is a pre-DLC uh, game, I think. So I think I still had Stomper Cub in my um, trim. Obviously, I don't have any more. As you can see here, obviously, I'm going to swing in with uh, my Grease Companion, and then second main, I'm going to lay my Dungrove Elder, who's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Um, so he's already at 17. I've got two creatures up, a 3-3 three, three and a 3-2 with Trample. He doesn't have anything, uh, and I have an Overrun in my hand, and if I can get there in two turns, uh, a Curb Stomper, a, curb stomp, um, a Stomper Cub. So I'm in a really, really good position here. And and I draw a Leatherback Bailoth, which is again a really great card. Another three drop, um, which is a four five. And here's a really good example of why um, you don't lay creatures first main. So he repulses my Garak's companion, um, and sending it back to my hand. And it's actually worse than the Leatherback Bailoth, which I think he probably would have been able to counter if I played it first main because he had three mana open. So I lay it second main and all his mana's tapped and he can't counter it because he used his mana on his repulse. So now I have a 4-4, four, four, which will be a 5-5 five, five next turn, which he can't repulse or do anything to because um, it's a hexproof. And also I have a 4-5 on the field, so next turn I can swing in for 8 damage, but because I have a 5th mana on my land in my hand, um, as you can see I'm going to lay it, and I can play overrun and send that up to a 7-8, and an 8-8, eight, eight, and all his mana is tapped, so I'm going to hit him for 15 and win. So that's a really great draw with Apex Predators there. Win in under 3 minutes. And so you know, in case you think about the title of this game, I've decided to change the title to something a bit more interesting than just uh, Apex Predators versus Illusions. So look out for some fun titles in the future, and obviously if you want to know which decks I'm playing, those will be in the descriptions. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.